Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. If you follow me on Strava, maybe you've noticed that I have not been posting any runs since the 4x4x48 challenge. And after seeing my podiatrist on Monday, and if you're reading the title of this video, you know that I do have an issue with my left foot. After taking x-rays, um, the podiatrist determined that I do in fact have a stress reaction in the third metatarsal of my left foot. It is not a full-blown stress fracture, which is good news, but a stress reaction means I cannot run on it for two weeks. Uh, the plan really is to over treat the injury rather than under treat it so I'm going to be wearing either a um, shoe or a boot at all times to try to take as much pressure off the foot and I am doing a few things every single day to try to speed up this recovery process as much as I possibly can. I am still doing some weights for my upper body to keep strong in that department but I wanted to take this opportunity to um, show you guys what I'm doing to try to hopefully diligently and quickly recover from this stress reaction. Hopefully it should not take more than two weeks. Let's uh, go through everything I'm doing to get better. Let's go. Usually right when I wake up in the morning, that's when my foot is very stiff. Um, the podiatrist said it's probably because I've been sleeping all night and there's not a lot of blood flow. So he gave me something that I can do for about 20 minutes when I wake up in the morning to get the blood flowing. And that is two things. It's pretty much five minutes on of icing. I have a bag of um, frozen rice right here. Five minutes of icing and then five minutes in a hot uh, Epsom salt bath and then five minutes icing, five minutes of the Epsom salt bath. So it's 20 minutes total. So what I do is I start with the icing for about five minutes and then that gives five minutes for this to cool off a little bit. And then once I'm done with icing, I'll pour this in, pour the Epsom salt in all together, mix it up, and then I'll have five minutes in the hot Epsom salt bath. The Epsom salt is pretty much completely dissolved in there. I have a cup total and a, a good amount of the uh, hot water. So it's a nice warm, still warm temperature, but um, not too hot for my foot. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a five minute soak in the Epsom salt. Just finished the first Epsom salt soak in the hot water. Now gonna go back to the ice and then once more with the hot water. Uh, I know this isn't super exciting, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm doing to loosen up my foot in the morning. So I'll do this once more and then I'll show you guys how I wrap up my foot after. Now that I have my foot nice and loosened up, blood's flowing, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Um, my podiatrist made me a little, little band thing kind of like this. So I just slip this on my foot right here, like so. And then I grab this and I go ahead and wrap that around, starting at around my ankle. Wrap it like decently tight, but not too tight. So there you have it. Now my foot is totally wrapped up. So basically I have two things that I wear. Um, one, if I'm only doing like some light walking, not a ton casual. Um, I have this shoe right here that I put on. So this is still pretty thick on the heel. So it's not putting a lot of pressure on my foot and just wraps up like so. There's just a band like this. I am a server at a restaurant, so I have to be on my feet for um, many hours at a time. So for that, I'm going to be wearing this boot, which is just a lot thicker. goes like a little bit more up the leg, up to about the shin area. And so, yeah, this is a little bit thicker on the heel. Um, restricts mobility a tiny bit, but is better for the foot to put less pressure on it, especially when I'm going to be on it for hours at a time. So although I'm not doing any running or any cardio of any sort, I am still doing um, some weights and just lifting to help maintain some upper body mass and hopefully build some muscle, get stronger over these next two weeks. I can still do that if anything. So I'm going to hit like a pretty much a total upper body workout today. Just do some chest, some arms, uh, some shoulders, everything like that. So let's get right to it and uh, let's build some muscle.
Okay, so another exercise I've really fallen in love with ever since I got this pull-up bar is pull-ups. I've gotten so much better at them since I started. When I first started, I feel like I could barely do any with good form, but now I've just gotten way stronger. I think they really, really help a ton with um, everything I'm gonna be doing Spartan related for the race in Big Bear in May. So yeah, I'm just gonna get in 50 pull-ups right now. I can do like sets of 10, but I've noticed that when I do 10 pretty much um, without a break, the last few, the form isn't too great. So what I do actually is I just do five at a time, but I make sure they're super slow and controlled and really like really good correct form reps and then i'll just do five pretty much every minute on the minute for 10 minutes which gets me to 50 pull-ups Time for some dinner. For dinner today, we have a plate of pierogies and then I have a spinach salad on the side. Um, of course, a lot of water. I've been drinking a gallon a day, still on the gallon a day train um, because it's super imperative for recovery. You gotta stay hydrated. And then also I'm taking this with my meal. It's called Bone Up um, for my stress reaction. Um, a friend I know who is much, much faster than me at running, who has dealt with stress fractures and stress reactions in the past, swore by this stuff and recommended me uh, this formula, said it took weeks off his recovery time. I'm going to have this and enjoy this dinner. That's going to be it for the video today, guys. Uh, obviously, this injury is not fun. Not 100% sure what exactly caused it. It's kind of hard to tell with these things. Probably a mix of overtraining and, you know, new to the Spartan training stuff, doing a lot of burpees, a lot of things my body's not used to. So in any case, though, I totally take responsibility fully for this injury. And, um, you know, you live and learn, and hopefully I'm going to learn from this injury. And hopefully I'll be back at it again in two weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's video. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace. Hey.